Hey guys, David here and welcome to another video. Before me you can see yet another brown box and as you all know everything good comes in brown boxes. Uh, little hint here is the Ortur uh, Laser Master that I reviewed a while back and in here is the Laser Master 2. Ortur actually sent uh, this to me quite a while ago uh, but I just haven't gotten around to it but now I'm gonna need it for a different project as well so uh, I'm gonna well, unbox it for you, assemble it, check it out and tell you what I think. So uh, let's get started with unboxing and assembly. I'll just time lapse through that, it's, it's not too interesting. Alright, so you saw me assemble it and test it a bit. Uh, assembly is super straightforward. Um, the QR code to the instructions didn't work and I didn't bother looking them up and still was able to uh, get most of it uh, figured out. Uh, if you look at the instructions, you shouldn't take more than 10 or 15 minutes uh, to assemble the machine. And the software is also super straightforward. I'll have the link down below. Uh, to an actually working links as the one they provided uh, did not lead anywhere. Uh, and install everything and it basically works out of the box and like shouldn't take you more than half an hour to from opening the box to getting the laser set up. And then the performance and um, well if you have seen my review of the original laser master this machine is basically the exact same story as with that one except it's larger which is great uh, it's a really great size it's 40 by 43 centimeters of uh, cutting area um, that's just beautiful it's like uh, it allows you to uh, do some bigger engravings and you won't be limited with the size as much on the contrary the machine is larger and takes more room to store but i feel like it's not that huge that it is a problem so the size definitely a big thumbs up for me also construction for uh, laser, it is really good. I really like that they added this uh, bar to synchronize the left and the right movement uh, with the belt. Uh, it requires some paying attention while installing the belt, but if you set it up properly, that means that like it's always gonna stay square to the frame. It's not gonna um, flop around. And that's really good design decision on their part. Apart from that, everything plugs in and uh, 
motors it moves very very uh, quickly and smoothly uh, electronics are very well done uh, also like the controlling of the laser it works really well engraving stuff uh, like these pictures that you can see here uh, they took like five ten minutes max uh, that's a lot faster than on my converter 3d printer as the electronics here are actually meant for uh, laser engraving so a big thumbs up on that part now as with uh, the original laser master the big kind of downfall is the laser diode itself uh, the uh, original laser master claims to be 15 watts this one uh, comes in 7 15 and 20 watts uh, i've already mentioned this uh, in my last review uh, and i'm gonna mention it again that does not refer to the laser power as some other manufacturers uh, refer to this is the power consumption of the laser so the 15 watts i uh, i know calculated was about four and a half watts so this one is probably like six watt roughly uh, of actual laser power and that still is plenty and if the, it was high quality diode i would not have any complaints but uh, as it is with cheap diodes um, the problem is that even when you focus them correctly they do not end up in a point but in a fine line and that results in you having huge discrepancies uh, from cutting up in the y-axis and in the x-axis uh, on these parts here i'm going to show a close-up uh, of these ones here and uh, you can see that on up and down uh, it perfectly cuts through the wood and it's a uh, nice and clean cut whereas uh, left to right it's not even close to cutting through and that is just because the power there is distributed over a bigger area now depending on how close you are to the laser uh, that varies a bit and if you get uh, very close it works a bit better but um, the way this frame is constructed you ca that can't really easily adjust the height um, so it's just for engraving this is not a big deal and you can engrave on any organic material basically you can engrave on wood you can engrave on leather you can engrave on acrylic uh, all that good stuff uh, and it's gonna look turn out great um, but for like cutting stuff uh, it really is not quite ideal another thing that would help a lot for cutting uh, is an air assist you can easily add that yourself uh, like a, just a little air pump uh, with a nozzle aiming directly at the cut that will blow the smoke out of the way that will also greatly improve your cutting performance if cutting is something you're planning to do another thing to keep in mind is that cutting stuff on a laser creates smoke it's kind of obvious because you're literally burning the material away um, for engraving uh, the smoke is still there but not as bad but if as soon as you start cutting there's massive amounts of smoke and with a frame design like this the smoke is just everywhere in your room and you need to have very very good ventilation um, to have the smoke uh, go outside or even use the machine outside ideally now if you want to use this machine on a regular basis there really is no way around building an enclosure that goes all the way around with an exhaust outside that's the in my opinion the only way to run a laser regularly because uh, over long times the smoke is just really bad for you I and mean, just cutting wood is okay but as soon as you get into cutting plastics where you need to be really careful anyhow some plastics are uh, poisonous um, if you I cut them like the smoke is really bad for you for example abs never cut abs on a laser um, but even with acrylics uh, the smell is just really bad and uh, you need to ha somehow exhaust it outside or have a really good filter but that's way out of uh, the price range for a machine like this that's also like an area where the bigger size is a bit of a downside as the enclosure needs to be even bigger but even just like a uh, cardboard box which wouldn't recommend because it's a fire hazard but like something uh, like that uh, could already be a great option now what's always a deciding factor uh, with inexpensive uh, things like this is the price and this machine starts at uh, sub 200 dollars like 180 depends on the like price fluctuations for the 7 watt uh, laser module now if you're just doing wood engraving and you're not too worried about the speed that might be enough uh, 
but otherwise you can upgrade to 15 or 20 watt uh, and they cost a bit more the 20 watt is uh, about 280 so another hundred dollars and that definitely gives you a lot more laser power uh, which power wise is uh, good enough for most things the Original Laser Master is a bit cheaper, but you also do get a much larger frame, so I think it's kind of worth it to get the bigger one if you plan on doing any larger scale engravings. If you want to know more about the software and the, some more of the capabilities, you can watch my review of the original Laser Master. I'm not going to repeat everything here as it is literally the same software and basically the same performance. I did not notice a huge difference between the 15 watt and the 20 watt version. Um, 21 probably has a bit more power, but the capabilities of like which materials you can cut is mostly the same. They also do include a list of like settings that they recommend, but I found that these are a best like a starting point and you will have to adjust this like for engraving wood uh, their setting was uh, way too powerful and it incinerated a lot of it and uh, for cutting wood uh, i actually found that they are using a fairly slow speed and just one pass but increasing the passes and uh, also increasing the speed, like doubling or tripling the speed and doing multiple passes creates a lot cleaner cut as uh, the smoke has more time to escape and it doesn't catch fire as much. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a machine to engrave onto wood, like make custom signs, uh, cutting boards and uh, there's a ton of possibilities that you can do with uh, laser engraving on wood, this is a great machine for a very low price point. However, if your goal is to do more serious engraving, um, this machine will require some tinkering. And uh, one option in terms of tinkering that I will explore very soon is replacing the laser diode uh, with an endurance laser. Uh, and their lasers are uh, diodes are a lot higher quality, but of course that's another major cost component that you are adding onto there. So. Um, You'll have to stay tuned, make sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that video where I do the conversion of this machine and uh, explore if it is worth it or not. Other than that, if you have any questions, feedback, anything, leave a comment down below. Also make sure you like the video if you liked it. Check out the links uh, to the machine down in the description if you're interested in buying it. Uh, there are affiliate links, so by buying through those links you help me out a bit without it costing you any extra money. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and until next time.